Hey everybody, this is Peter Pomiati, and yes, this video will be upside down, because uh, I just just don't have time to edit <laughs> anything, um, but hey, it's a new video, and uh, what I've been up to, and why is this called Comic Book Boot Camp, um, and most importantly, and first and foremost, I'm going to do a little... Um, review on a, a little character I created, what, 30 years ago? <laughs> Called Retro. That's right, folks. This is a retro update. Uh, for those clamoring, um, for uh, what the hell is going on, because I didn't deliver in August. As I said, I would. Um, so, uh, I'll, I'll get into the, the whys and hows a little bit uh, without going into excuses and whatnot. Um, but, okay, so, retro issue one, uh, exclamation point, I guess. Um, let's see. Okay, so, script wise, uh, it just remains as a plot, um, and there's a reason for that. Um, the reason is that uh, I really wanted all the pages in front of me to uh, script it properly. Um, so that goes into pencils. Um, <laughs> man, so I had to go through three computers, thumb drives, laptops, <laughs> and, and, and get all my files together and, and, uh, as well as, um, pages here. Um, and I discovered, it, I, I probably mentioned this before somewhere, but, um, uh, I discovered um, that, uh, I didn't have all the pages penciled, um, I had the first 20, and it, it took a little finessing to, <laughs> to figure that out, um, so I had 20 pages of a 28-page comic, now, uh, you know, with my Has Comics Dude brand, uh, I'm planning to do first issues as 28 pages and issue two and ongoing after that will be, I haven't fully decided, but maybe 23. Um, you know, a typical comic is 21 pages, uh, but I want to give a little more content and story, so I'm thinking 23 will be uh, my default for an average issue, um, but the first issues will be a whopping 28 pages, uh, and I'm planning, you know, since Retro is the first one out of the gate of my, you know, we can't call them superheroes, so <laughs> I'm calling them metahumans. Uh, my many human universe, and um, all, all eight books will be twenty-eight page, twenty-eight pages each for the first issue. Uh, so yeah, so I only had twenty pencils, <laughs> twenty pages penciled, um, and a little uh, email back and forth with the penciler. Uh, Rich Fisher, mind you, he did the first 20 pages back in 2009, 2010, thereabouts, uh, this is years ago, and I, ha I haven't gotten up the guts <laughs> to, uh, to actually, uh, go forward with it, and, um, and I'm glad, because I wasn't ready back then. Um, 
and I'm still not, which is why it's late. <laughs> Uh, which is not in the left hand. I, you know, I want to deliver, I want to deliver on time, uh, but I've been going through a thing, um, and like I said, I'll get into that, uh, after my retro update, but, um, so, yeah, I went back and forth with Rich on, uh, hey, you know, like, there's eight pages we didn't, we didn't get to, um, is it cool? Do you want to do them? If not, I'll pencil the last eight pages. And he, he was like, hey, you know, I'm up for it. Uh, you know, my style has, has definitely uh, changed in the years since. Uh, I penciled the first 20, but um, uh, I would I would love to, and it would be cool to see uh, how, how my art has progressed, yada, yada. Uh, so Rich said... Um, yes to that and uh you know he, and he delivered he you know he unlike me is a professional <laughs> um and he delivered so check mark we got 28 whopping pages and they are all gorgeous and he's he's done an excellent job um and um so that's that's where that stands. Um, you know, I got I got the book fully penciled. I got the cover already. I got uh, extra prints. Shush, my cat. <laughs> yes, cats, cats, cats. Um, so got twenty eight pages um, penciled. Uh, the letterer has even contacted me, said, you know, he'd be willing to letter over the, the pencils. And I was like, well, at the moment that's, that's on hold. Uh, so, but he, he's ready and willing to, uh, jump on that when, when I get the full final script. Um, like I said, I only have a plot right now. Um, but, um. He's ready. <laughs> uh, now, the thing that's taking time, because um, I'm new at this. Okay, so I previously I, I've worked with colorists uh, to a small degree on prints. You know, essentially, you know, pinups, one shots. <laughs> uh, but this is my first time. Uh, working with a colorist um, on a full comic book. Um, now, I, I've been in this field, in this industry for 28 years. Um, I have definite opinions on what is good coloring. And, uh, you know, even though I, I, I picked a dynamite colorist and... Um, but there's, there's, you know, like, you, you want to make sure the characters uh, always look the same throughout the 28 pages, you know, throughout the whole book. Um, and that things are distinctly, like, certain things are certain colors. Um, but also, the, you know, the, the book looks a certain way. Uh, and it, so it's it's been a slow process. Um, and right now, uh, last time I, I checked my messages, you know, we're only at page, I want to say one, two, three, three, page four, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, Isaac, um, I mean, let me quickly look at my stuff. Let's see. Where are we? Where are we? Mr. Retro. Oh, there's there's a pencil. Okay. Do 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 do. All right. This is lame. I should have done this much faster. Oh, I know what I'm looking for. Uh, projects. Uh. I'm still trying to organize my my studio. Okay. Under there. All right. Uh, 
That was the last page, right? Let's take a second. Sorry about this. Uh, I'm I'm working on a lot, so. Okay, so yes, officially we have three pages colored. So out of 28, that's not much at all. Um, but, you know, I posted page three up uh, a couple days ago, over the weekend, something. Um, anyway. Popular opinion is that it looks great, <laughs> essentially. Um, so that is going very well. I, I'm 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 very happy. I mean, I I knew I picked the right guy when I saw the cover, and the cover is amazing. And each page has been gorgeous so far. So no problem there. It's just going slow. Uh, assisting me. Um, because it, it's my first time taking on such a big task, um, I have, um, Scott O'Green is, uh, watching my efforts <laughs> as, as I go. Um, so that's, that's helpful. Even, even if he isn't, um, saying a lot, he's, he's keeping an eye on, um, everything I, I say to the colorist and the colorist says back and just the process and and um, so it's it's going it's going slow but um, part of that's me part of that is you know colorist had had troubles with uh, his uh, flatter yada 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 um, but you know I'm looking okay I'll, I'll just say right now I am looking to uh, get this issue done this year. That That is my now goal. Uh, originally, you know, I said, oh, no problem, it'll be done by August. Well, I was right, way wrong for a bunch of reasons. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't take into effect that I would be, I would need to make money along, along the way and how how deeply that would um, uh, really crunch into uh, me working on retro. So apologies to everyone, but um, you know this book. It, this book is cr progressing, and this book is going to like. Hopefully, you know you'll think as well as I uh, that it will look gorgeous, and um, you know. Uh, it will be it will come it will be a good worthwhile comic, you know, for for your bucks, for your hard earned money. Um. So, what else? What else is important? Well, uh, I'm inking. So, okay. So, where am I with inks? I guess that's a critical, <laughs> a critical question. Um. And. Okay, so right now I am not done, but I'm working on page five. And that's not much further along than the colorist. But, um, you know, I have randomly inked some pages ahead of, ahead of five. So I splashed ink on probably another five pages at least, uh, just random figures, random panels I, I, I took on. I think I might have even done borders on a bunch of the pages. Um, just random stuff like that, you know, sort of getting my f feet wet on, on some other pages. And, you know, it's, it's not n something normally I do. I usually just go page by page as, as far as inking a book. Um, but, uh, I think it has more to do with uh, when I was, you know, YouTubing a lot. <laughs> I felt like I had to give content and especially like work on my project in front of people. Um, so that's that's where I did that. So you, you can you can look at my backlog and find 
excerpts of me working on pages. Um, but uh, so yeah, then then is like, am I missing anything? Script, pencils, inks, colors, letters. I mean, that's what you're gonna get on the 28 pages. Uh, then there's everything else, and I really haven't. I sort of pre-planned that all out previously, but I have extras. Um, like, there's the Gaz, Gaz Gretzky, um, Gazbot. He did, uh, he, he did a Kickstarter for his book, The Hara A4, in which he offered a, a pencil drawing of whatever, and I, I took his Kickstarter uh, pledge level and got a, a sketch of, well, a drawing of Retro. Um, I mean, the plan right now is that's, that's going to be a back cover image. Um, and because it's not, it's not like a, a, a full pinup, it's sort of like a spot piece of retro. Um, you know, there, there's various things I could do. And I'll, I'll, I'm going to be working with a production guy and see, you know, there's going to be a lot of excess room that I can add other stuff to the back cover. So, um, and I believe how the Kickstarter went was that it might be... It might be um, one of the uh, the prints I offered. Like I did a stretch <coughs> stretch goal that I reached, and I'll ha I'll have to review my Kickstarter page. Um, but I think it might be one of the prints I I, I offered that you'll get extra within the package. Uh, we'll see. But. Um, but yeah, the, the, there will be um, extras within the back issue, back of the issue. Um, somewhere there'll be a coming next issue. Which I plan to just uh, write a little thing about what's going to be in next issue as well as do a little drawing with uh one of the characters retro is going to meet cat stop annoying me he's out she's outside <laughs> she's annoying me um but i'll also have a page where um it will be indie comics um that I want people to check out. Uh, and actually, uh, Gaz's book is one of them. Uh, there's also Jeff Lafferty's book will be one of them. Uh, with the Berserker Knot, um, Scott Circlin with his book, Young and the Dead. And uh, one other, which I haven't gotten in touch with the person yet. So, <laughs> but I got confirmation on all this all three of those. So one page will be, you know, um, something like Indie Comics Rule or or Friends of Has Comics, uh, Indie Comics or something or another. And uh, it will um, show pictures of the first issues of those books as well as information on where to purchase them. Um, and There'll be some quotes in, in the in the back of the book. There'll be um, some other stuff. Oh, f maybe some fan art. Uh, whatever it could fit in. Um, and I will say, it's going to be a 32-page comic. Uh, 32-page comic. Um... <laughs> I can't write. Um, 
because I, I was thinking at one point I was I was feeling ambitious, highly ambitious, <laughs> and making it. I was thinking of making it forty-eight pages, but I'm not going to do that. Because uh, I, I want consistency throughout my, all my books, and they'll all be thirty-two page books. So even when I'll, I'll approximately be doing twenty-three page stories, uh, it'll still be a thirty-two page book. Um, you know, one one of the things I see in, a lot in independent comics is where they they print a book out exactly the amount of pages that the story is and maybe add some stuff on the co inside cover and outside cover and whatnot um but i, I want to throw in some extras in the back of the book i mean that's you know that's what makes it special to me you know it, down the line a couple of years whatever it takes um when i can even think about doing trades um you won't get any extras you just get story content um so that will make the single issues you know um uh, a lot more in demand um it's it's also why i'm not doing alternate covers um you know it's like the cover uh, of the books will be iconic because there'll only be one cover and um you know en enough with this three variation you know three different covers or ten different covers or you know what stupid crazy number um or you know you get it from this store or this convention and it has a different cover no it's the same freaking book <laughs> whether you buy it on the kickstarter or the you know or or my store or you buy it from a comic store it will be the same cover um, I do, I still do have to figure out what are you getting if you get it from the Kickstarter as opposed to getting it from the comic store. Now, one of the things is that you're going to get it way before anybody else. Um, you know, because has comics... will be officially starting and premiering in 2020. That's right. You know, so you'll be getting retro ahead of everybody else. You'll be getting, you know, there was, <laughs> there was another little known book called Arena. Uh, you'll be getting Arena before anybody else. You'll be getting other books if I have enough time before the year ends um, so that is where retro issue one is at um, you know essentially the Kickstarter provided me enough money to pay the colorist um, and a little extra um, you know, it it's, it it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't cover printing. It doesn't cover shipping. Um, because I did it so short, and because you know, it it's like I'm not that popular where I made five thousand or ten thousand or whatever. Um, I made less than two thousand. You know, I think technically it was nineteen and change. Uh, 1,900 and change, uh, but after Kickstarter and PayPal, whatever, how, no, it went to my bank. So after Kickstarter took its its funds, it was what? It was like 16 and change. So 1,600 and change, which you know, colors alone are going to cost me 1,500. Um, so. that 
think the cats are slamming into my front door now. <laughs> um, all right, so that's all that jazz. Been talking a long time. Um, the plan is to get it out this year, and it is going well so far, even if it's slow. Um, but you know, I I will admit, like. I am human, and somebody somebody asked about the progress to retro recently, but they also alluded to the fact that um, that I might not get it get it done at, at all, and that's not the case. I take great offense at that, <laughs> and I, I I reacted in kind, and somebody called me juvenile, but whatever. I don't care. Um, I'm about putting together a quality book because I don't just want to be a st you know within a stack of uh, so many independent comics that that don't put everything they have into it. You know, you will get your money's worth with my my comic. Um, dude has comics, dude. Because I promise you that. Okay, so what I've been up to, why, why have I fallen off the face of uh, YouTube, and um, what is that all about? Um, now, if you've been following me, even semi-closely, um, you, you could pretty much gather from the past couple of years that um, I haven't been happy where I was. I mean, that's the whole point of me finally getting around to uh, doing a Kickstarter for Retro, my own character. Because, you know, while I've been in this industry 28 years, it, it hasn't been 28 successful years. And uh, there's... I've inked, you know, what I've done majority-wise um, is me inking in the industry. And uh, I've inked hundreds of books. I don't, I don't know. I lost count. Um, but if I had to rack my brain, I could only <laughs> tell you to top, I don't know, let's say 20 or 30. Um because a lot of times I've just been surviving, you know, like like a lot of uh, others out there, you know. It's like unless you're a top name, you're not going to make be making great money. You're not going to be working on great books, yada yada. You know, I've worked for Marvel and DC for a span, and that was great, but that didn't last long enough to really. <laughs> stand out to a lot of people uh if anything i'm i'm still to this day only remembered from my work on aquaman which is fine i love that book i had a great run on that book um but i want more out of my career so this is why i'm making my own properties my own books and working with people I, I admire and respect and 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 uh, yeah, so I got a dozen artists I'm gonna be working with on my own books, as well as other products that will be coming up and popping up. Um, but that's the whole point behind has comics dude uh, to really make a name for myself in this industry. And I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not going to cut my shells short just by finishing the first issue of Retro right away. Uh, so, at the same time, apologies. <laughs> it's like, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. I have to do a good job. I won't respect myself in the morning. Um, so, yeah, I mean, over the past couple of years, um, I really come to decision that either something better is going to happen or I'm just going to walk away. And um, 
it's pretty much like I'm burning a bridge. There's only one course ahead of me and only one thing that's going to come out of it and I'm going to give it my all and if it blows up in my face, it blows up in my face. You know. Um, thankfully, you know, majority of people are patient. You know, I had 79 backers on my retro Kickstarter. And, um, you know, most of them have been patient. Most of them have seen my progress. I posted, you know, I did it. I, I believe I, I went over some of the details of me working on the book in the last couple of videos I did on YouTube. Um, but specifically, what has happened in the last month or, or so um, is that. You know, and this has been going on longer than that, but um, but because I I was I'm spreading myself a lot thinner because I'm taking on writing, I'm taking on penciling, I'm taking on working with a colorist, I'm taking on editing, and you know, it's like so much more that hasn't been part of my day-to-day -day work, you know, <laughs> from going from just, you know, not that I haven't done a little bit of everything throughout my career, but this is, this is all at once, this is like, I'm in fully, uh, I'm going to be penciling for other people, I've already started projects, um, and, and it's been a lot, it's been a lot. And, um, and I, I really didn't feel like my inks were what, what they once were. Uh, I, I feel like that's taken the biggest hit and I, I didn't feel the confidence I once had for it. Uh, and this is not a, you know, this is going back a couple of years. Um, and um, so I really wanted just to take some time and, and um, you know, because what, what I felt was that, um, and you might have seen this, like I, I've been trying to be consistent on YouTube and a lot of new ideas have been popping into my head and and maybe a certain level of quality has rid risen as far as my approach to YouTube um, but I felt like I was waking up every day uh, with sort of just like my brain was going 24-7 and and um, and I felt like my, my focus was on improving my YouTube and improving, you know, my, my strategy and improving my video content. And, and you know, it's like it was, it was going 24-7 with all that. And it was like, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Full stop. Um, I had to focus on what is important to me. And... The bottom line is I'm here to make great comics. And if I don't succeed in that, nothing else matters. So I stopped making videos. And I didn't even make a video to say I was stopping making videos. Um, because I, I just had to follow, follow my new road. You know, it, it took a hard right. <laughs> And, uh, so, yeah, yeah, I, you know, it's also, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the fall with allergies, yay, um, so, I had to follow, um, follow that path, and I had to really just, just work on art again, work on my inks again, and, 
um, you know, a, a, as well as like every day is is full with uh, writing and penciling and inking and and all that jazz and and trying to you know trying to trying to work a cohesive schedule to where it's creatively fulfilling as well as creatively um, uh, effective <laughs> essentially um, so yeah that's that's sort of the comic book boot camp that I've been putting myself through now jumble in that um, this past month was a struggle financially because you know like um i did okay if you if you look at the run of what i did i did a a gofundme for a digital tablet and that was a mistake (laughs) i know that now oh my god and i still owe that to people and um, I can't even think about that until Retro Issue 1 is done. Uh, and, you know, it's it's not... Even though that came first, um, this is the more important. Because once I get the first issue of Retro done, then it will be easier for me to do a short story about the origin of Retro's name. Um... But I was I was trying to do, you know, all this jazz that I've been talking about, on top of learning how to do digital inks and learning how to use the tablet, and uh, that was fucking me up so really. <laughs> that was huge, and and you know, if you've been following me, you know, like technology is not working for me, and it only got worse. Um, then I had internet problems, and you know, <laughs> uh, I I decided not to worry about that, and I don't have internet at home, so everything I have to do internet-wise, I have to go over to my friend Lisa's place or the library, or just Dunkin' Donuts or wherever I can get internet, uh, and that's been a huge hassle, and you know, it's like every second counts sometimes and you know it's like for me yeah it, it's like it makes everything harder but um so uh that means i have to take on more work because my fences have taken a critical low um and you know people people see me working on other projects so talking about working on other projects and, uh, you know, I, I know that's what, what, um, one or two people, <laughs> the, the, the minority, um, have, have really taken hold of and said, oh, you know, retro is not going to get done. Oh, no. Retro is the main course. Retro is getting done. Um, but yeah, creatively, I feel a lot more comfortable right now, and that's because I've been busting my ass, working on my skills, um, and it's, it's at a point where I can't really, like, I can't really record it, you know, because it's, you know, there's so much going on. You know, I, I, when I go and check messages, it's like, I'm getting 15 messages, and, um, it just, it takes me off, you know, off, off where I'm focused, and, and, uh, you know, I actually did make a couple of videos. I, I did this pencil piece called Lover's and I, I videoed uh, what I did wind up posting uh, probably on Facebook and uh, Instagram, uh, Inks in Progress. Uh, 
it was sort of an experimental piece and I recorded that and I was going to do audio over that and I recorded something else and it was like uh oh, you know this is this is taking me off point so I just didn't upload it um and I can't I can't worry about editing which is you know me to even think about editing right now is it takes focus away from what I'm doing uh, even this video which is winding up very long um, you know which I, I could have done it in, in, in a short 80 minute video or something but but thanks for bearing with me um, yeah it, to me you know if you look at my inks you know I, I, I fuss about quality and that's what I want to put into creating my own comics and if for the first time around um, me doing a Kickstarter and and me putting out my very first book takes a little longer uh, so be it you know I hope I hope you won't yell at me but if you do then I'll probably only yell back at you. <laughs> uh, I love you all, dude. But I gotta do what I gotta do. I, you know, this is this is my career on the line, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Cause, yeah, this is gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna put out this book. I'm gonna put out the follow-up books, um, and. Um, you know, people love it or not, or whatever, you know, that's, that's, everybody has their own opinion about, you know, what's good and what's not, but, um, you know, it's got to be good in my own heart of hearts, and, and that's, that's what I'm focused on. Uh, so, what I will try to do is an update maybe <laughs> it might be monthly <laughs> but you'll get you'll get a video before the end of the year um, and hopefully it will be a video stating that issue one is done and maybe I'll try to record some progress along the way and and put it into one video we'll see we'll see you know what matters most to me is getting this book done and then getting it out to those that pledged. Um, everything else will follow. Uh, because, you know, I did I did do a, a, a sort of crowdfunder for Arena years ago. And people on that have waited a lot longer. And I haven't heard one iota from anybody who crowdfunded, who, who pledged to that. Cause it, it, I don't know, I forget now, but it, it kind of wasn't a full blown crowdfunder, um, and uh, you know I decided to add on to that um, even more than what it originally was, so I have still yet to get to that. Um, I made some progress. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, it's like I'm going to spend the next six months, a year, whatever it takes to fulfill everything I've promised. Um, because I'm not that guy that, you know, doesn't deliver. I, I am that guy that delivers. This is my career on the line. And if I want to stay in this industry and want to do good in this industry, it means me fussing over my products. And that's what I'm doing. And this comic book boot camp, that's me. That's what I'm going through right now. I'm putting myself through hell. I'm working my butt off. Um, <laughs> working every day. And uh, I can't express it more than that. Uh, so I, ho I hope I hope you like what I deliver. That's that's the bottom line. I hope you like what I deliver. Uh, Cause you know a lot of you are are 
good friends. And um, you know, one one final note is that I haven't been highly active online. You know, it hasn't only affected my YouTube channel. Um, but I, I, you know, I try to post art on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, that sort of the regular stuff. Um, and, uh, I also want to keep in touch, uh, with my friends and, uh, mostly I've done that either directly with people um, you know, I, I post it on Facebook like that. I talked to a, like a dozen people over the last week or two and, um, how much I love this industry and it's because of the people in it and, you know, it's like, I'm still in this industry, not only because I love the medium, but I also love the people in it. And, um, you know, if I haven't spoken to you in a while, in a long time, just drop me a line. You know, Messenger is, is the quickest. And there goes my cat again. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll let you in in a minute. Um, Messenger is the quickest way to get in touch with me. You know, it may, may take me a, a day or two to re return your message. Um because I don't have internet at home. <laughs> home slash office. Realize that, that I spend most of my time here. Um, but, you know, I'm I'm still, like, thinking everybody, everybody. You know, the R-Casters crew, the V-100s crew. I noticed there's a, oh, a new group of people in the in the one hundreds that I, I have no clue who they are. Um but also the Has Nation crew. Um if you're if you're that close to me then you're in my messenger has nation group or whatever I call it. Has something. <laughs> um yeah, it it's like when when I get this Issue one of Retro done. Um, get internet going again. Uh, trust me, next year is going to be much better. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of it had to do with I had funding in place for, with another project that didn't happen. That would have solved so many things. Um, but you know, so I have to bust my ass, ass harder take on more work um, to make sure that I do this and do it right. Thus it goes. It's the freelance life I signed up for. <laughs> okay, so hello friends. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you've been up to since I've, I'm out of touch. <laughs> I am severely out of touch. Uh, when, when I, my fingers can't walk across the keyboard and, and just see really fast what people were up to, uh, yeah, it's the complete opposite. I am so out of touch. Uh, let me know what you're up to. Um, let me know what you've seen of what I've been posting. Uh, that will clue me into, uh, how, how m much more maybe I should be keeping in touch with people and uh, I think I think I'll direct people from the Kickstarter and, and actually do update number two to this video that will prove helpful um, and of course if you're new to the channel and you aren't yet subscribed or if, <laughs> if you've watched a billion of my videos uh, but haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I am still trying to get past 1,000. Um, and I, I noticed they got a new subscriber together today, and that was cool. 
I notice people are still watching my videos even though I haven't uploaded in a month or so. Um, so that's always cool. Um, I will be back um, on YouTube on a regular basis when, once I get in out of uh, boot camp. I'm just not sure at the moment how long that's going to be. So I've gone on 50 minutes. That's, that's enough. Love you all. Talk to you again. All right. Peace.